Being a volunteer at the San Francisco AIDS Foundation has inspired me to educate myself about HIV and AIDS. And then I promised myself that I will use my voice to influence the youth. And I would raise awareness to certain causes like HIV awareness that is timely and relevant to my country, which is the Philippines. I want to show the world, the universe rather, that I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Thank you. Let me begin by saying that HIV is okay. Not that I'm condoning unprotected sex. I'm just saying, people living with HIV must be supported and never stigmatized. HIV or human immunodeficiency virus is a condition where the population of your helper T cells, which are necessary for proper immune system function, decreases significantly and therefore makes your body more susceptible to illnesses. If left untreated, HIV can lead to AIDS or death. So the good news is, HIV is treatable. People diagnosed with HIV can be treated, so their status can change from HIV positive to positive undetectable. Undetectable means that their viral load, a measure of the HIV genetic material in their blood, becomes so insignificant that they can no longer transmit the virus. A person with HIV must take antiretroviral therapy, or ART, a combination of drugs that, with government funding and insurance, are actually much cheaper than multivitamins. In the Philippines, where HIV prevalence rate continues to increase every year, medication is almost free. With treatment, individuals with HIV can live as long and as healthy of a life as those without it. It is important to note that HIV is treatable and not curable. There's only one known case of HIV being completely cured. Timothy Ray Brown, also known as a Berlin patient, was cured exactly 10 years ago. Two years before that, he was diagnosed with leukemia and his doctor in Berlin arranged for him to receive a bone marrow transplant from a donor who is immune to HIV. So how is this donor immune to HIV? Well, 16% of Caucasian men from Northern Europe or Scandinavians are immune to HIV. The theory is that these men are descendants of bubonic plague survivors. They are believed to have developed a mutation in their genes that makes them HIV resistant. Speaking of HIV resistance, each one of us can be protected from HIV through PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis. PrEP is an anti-HIV medication in the form of once-a-day tablets that HIV-negative people take before coming into contact with HIV to reduce their risk of being infected by 99%. PrEP protects against HIV infection, much like a malaria pill protects against malaria or a birth control pill protects against pregnancy. Speaking of pregnancy, a pregnant mother's uterus is so fierce that even if she is HIV positive, the baby inside her is protected unless the baby is exposed to the mother's blood or vaginal fluid only upon birth. When the mother's status becomes HIV positive undetectable through treatment while she's pregnant, the baby can be born without being infected. Science has come a long way and HIV does not kill anymore. However, the stigma that comes with having HIV inhibits those infected from seeking the treatment they deserve. Let's treat our brothers and sisters with kindness and compassion. And lastly, Love yourself, get tested regularly, and always, always use protection.